Learning outcomes number two, the pricing objectives. To survive in the market, which is highly competitive, companies need pricing objectives that are specific, attainable, and measurable. Pricing objectives can be divided into three categories. Number one, profit-oriented. Number two, sales-oriented. And number three is the status quo-oriented. Number one, profit-oriented pricing objective means that the companies focus on making profits. Profit-oriented pricing objective divided into three, profit maximization, satisfactory profits, and target on investment. Profit maximization means to set a price so that the total revenue is as large as possible relative to the total cost. Number two is satisfactory profit, means a reasonable level of profits. Examples like in a risky industry, a satisfactory profit may be 35% as compared to a low risk business which, which, which might be only for 7%. And number three, target return on investment. The most common profit objective is a target return on investment called ROI. ROI measures management overall effectiveness in generating profits with their available assets in the organization. It means that the higher company's ROI, the better off for the company. Pricing objective number two is based on sales-oriented pricing objective. So in sales-oriented pricing objective, they are based either on the market share or in the forms of sales. Market share here means that it's a company's product sales as a percentage of total sales for that particular industry. Examples like in Malaysia, we knew that in telecommunication industry, out of three main telco, which is Cellcom, Maxis and DG, we know that Cellcom have the most highest percentage of market share. And in terms of sales maximization, rather than to strive for market share, sometimes companies try to maximize their sales. Means that this orientation, the company want to focus on selling their products, which is to gain more and more sales. Examples like during a festive season, or during end of year sales, many companies will provide a discount in order to clear their stocks or end inventories. Number three is status quo pricing objective. It means that a company seeks to maintain an existing prices or to meet with the competitors' prices. It is also known as a passive policy means that we just follow the current price that has been determined based on the company's competitors in the current market examples like convenience products which is you can see that most of the convenience products are uh, their price is quite the same if you compare from one product to another